Hey everybody, Phil here with CarCraft Classics. Coming to you on this beautiful day to show off some new inventory at a gorgeous 1970 Plymouth Barracuda Resto Mod. CarCraft Classics is located at 321 Canton Road. We're here in Cumming, Georgia 30040. We're about 35 miles north of Atlanta. We can be reached on, at, on the phone at uh, 470-239-4977. My name again is Phil and uh, I can be reached on my cell at 770-317-1415. Feel free to give me a call if you have any questions about our inventory or our neon signs, our wheel and tire packages, etc. We can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. Be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. Before we get started, I would ask that if you're watching this video, please give us a thumbs up down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram and Facebook at Carcraft Classics. All right, everybody. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I've had some really cool stuff. There's no denying. I'm proud of it. But this might be the nicest one yet. This car is a gorgeous example of American muscle here on this beautiful sunny day in the best country in the world. But anyway, let's get back to this iconic car. Similar to the C2 Corvette we shot uh, the video for last week. This thing is just an iconic car and what they've done with this vehicle is upgraded a lot of things, turned it into a resto mod. Let me show you the body first. We'll take a peek at the trunk while we're back here. And I'll run over a build list of, of things that have been changed. Let's start with the body. Completely rust free. Completely pin straight. Gorgeous. That flat black panel. Thing's got one nice rear end if you know what I mean. Dual exhaust that starts up front with a set of ceramic coat coated headers. Finishes coming out of that with the square uh, ports there coming out of the balance panel. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look at how pin straight that car is. Paint, I would easily give it a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Sublime green, just like it should be. And this build, as you'll see as we go over this car, I mean, the, the attention to detail has been unbelievable. Here, the, the, the uh, battery's been moved to the trunk, which, you know, no big deal there, but you start looking at the wiring, it all looks new because it is. And then we've got these inline fuses throughout the car just to protect it keep it from burning up if there's any wiring issues look at this trunk pan gorgeous not a speck of rust or really any even imperfection the car is just staggeringly gorgeous and what a thorough detailed build there's some more of that new wiring and the tail lights new headlights new marker lights it's got new fogs up front but look at those quarters no seams. They haven't been replaced. That's original sheet metal. Let's see. No welds. Everything. Excellent shape. All the rubber around the trunk, the doors, the hood. All new. Trunk lid. Great shape. Now you look at this car and you say, what, what is it exactly? Is it a Barracuda? Is it, is it a Cuda? Is it an AAR? I mean, what is it? And the answer is yes. <laughs> well, what I mean by that is, you know, it was born a base car, but it's been built up into, you know, a Cuda a Hemi car with some AAR touches. And I got to say, it's probably built better than, you know, Chrysler did back in the day. Don't get mad at me, Mopar guys. I'm just saying it's been a detailed build and it's gorgeous. I love those flat black uh, panels on the quarters there, the billboards with the Hemi. So iconic, man. So again, the paint, before we get up front, the paint was good, but the previous owner brought it to a local place called Red's Restoration. Red's like the color, Restoration. And uh, Red's good, he's done work for us. He's done plenty of work on hot rods over his days. He specializes in that. If you haven't checked him out, do so. If you got a hot rod and you need some, some paint work done, then just uh, look him up, Red's Restorations. So again, the paint I would call easily a nine, nine and a half out of 10. All the bright work is in good shape. Now 
And if you know anything about 60s and 70s muscle cars, you know these, these panels below the windshield can be problematic, you know. Just like the trunk pants, you know, they can gather rust and just end up wavy and messy. But this one, not the case. Body work is nice. Paint is near flawless. Really, really gorgeous. Those color match bumpers. Man! That's America right there, baby. All right, let's move on to the jewelry box, as I like to call it. And I'll run over some, some details here on the build. What do we have here? I told you it was a resto mod, and I wasn't lying. Look at that late model 5.7 Hemi V8. There's those headers down there. And we'll get the car up on the rack, and we'll get pictures of the undercarriage, the exterior, without shadows. I know you get that out here, but we'll get good, clear pictures on our website at carcraftclassics.com. But I always like to put this video together just to show those that can't get to the shop all the angles I can. Color matched engine compartment, firewall super clean. There's another one of those inline fuses, high dollar inline fuses. Hey, talk about the wiring for a minute. This car has been rewired from front to back. Every system in this vehicle that runs on electric has been rewired. Let's take a look down here. All the wiring, all the fuses. I don't know if you can see down there, but let's see. Let me get, come over here and give you a better angle. Hopefully you can see that. That's an AC compressor. So yes, in addition to this beautiful late model Hemi V8, this car does have AC. Brake booster with a dual master cylinder, four wheel disc brakes. They're upgraded from drums to discs on this car. Also, we've got a beautiful aluminum radiator with electric fan set up to keep it nice and cool. I mean, the car literally has it all. Power steering, power disc brakes, as I mentioned, new wiring. Man, let's go over this, uh, this build list, make sure I don't miss something. New marker lights, new battery. AAR front chin spoiler, and of course you saw that rear spoiler back there. It's got the AAR little corner trim uh, chin spoilers. Let's see. Let's see if we can see it better on this side. Get out of the way there so you can see. Very cool look. Awesome. It's got the fiberglass factory style hood on it. Shaker, of course. Heck yeah, gorgeous. All right, so where did the motor come from? It came out of a 2008 Chrysler 300C with 75,000 miles. The car was originally put together uh, in Cape Coral, Florida, but it was finished by our customer locally here. Again, I mentioned the four-wheel disc brakes. When we get to the interior, I'm going to show you the gauge upgrade. Uh, he bought a Dakota Digital setup, which we're partial to. We use those in our C10s, and uh, we love Dakota Digital. But back to the motor, uh, this 5.7 Hemi dynoed around 400 horsepower, maybe a little less. I talked about the wiring being all new. It's got a brand new dash in it. The transmission is out of a 69 A body. And it was rebuilt right in, you know, recently in 2020. It's an A833 transmission. Eight and three quarter rear end with a 355 gear. I mentioned the radiator, the electric fans and the AC, but you can't say that enough, that's for sure. Let's move on to the wheels here. Let me get this hood down. I hate to even close it because it looks so pretty in there. Just give me a second, everybody. We'll be right back. Let me just put these hood pins on. I'd like to talk to you about the wheels. You know, we're wheel and tire dealers here at Carcraft Classics. But this is a special set. Not that the ones we sell aren't, but these, if you're into hot rods, you've heard of Year One. These wheels are manufactured by Year One in Brazelton, Georgia. They are a reproduction of the original Barracuda wheel, but much nicer than what would have come back in the day. They're a staggered set of 17s. I believe it's an 8 and a 10. 
They're wrapped in Nittle and T555s. We've got a 275 up front and a 285 in the rear. And look at how beautiful those wheels are. It's got like a metallic paint on the face of the wheel with the contrasting like a pewter color center hub. But what makes it is that lip. It's got the machined lip all the way around and of course it's a little deeper in the rear with that nine and a half or 10 inch wheel. Check it out, just gorgeous. Look down the side of this car. Ooh wee, that thing is gorgeous. Got the little Chrysler logo down here at the bottom of the fender, gotta have that now. Gotta have that now. Check that out. So again, I would give the paint high marks. Paint really is nice. Sublime green. It's got the hood pins on it like it's supposed to. What a time to be alive, 1970. All these manufacturers fighting each other for first place on the horsepower list. And this car was at the top. And now it's even better. You, know, you talk about what kind of advantages do you get by upgrading to a late model Hemi? Well, first thing is you eliminate cold starts. There's no more feathering the throttle or hoping that the choke kicks in and waiting 20 minutes for this thing to warm up. You turn the key and you go. Just like your late model car or truck. This thing, you know, when you drop the late model engine in it, it can go from, you know, your Sunday cruiser and car show car to your everyday driver. And I mean that literally. Everyday driver. What else do you get when you upgrade to the late model Hemi? You get great gas mileage. This thing's probably going to get you 20 miles to the gallon, maybe more, with 400 horsepower. Clean starts, fuel-injected motor, gas mileage, better reliability. Anything's wrong with the motor, drive right into a, to a dealership, a Dodge dealer, a Chrysler dealership, and, and they can work on it. Got that four-speed manual transmission. And of course, of course a pistol grip shifter. I love that they left a four speed in it and didn't upgrade to like a, a six speed manual or something. You know, there wouldn't have been anything wrong with that, but heck, it's a resto mod, so it would have been cool, but keep some of the nostalgia, I always say. And with that gear in it, that 355 gear, it's going to shift be fine on the highway or around town. Look at that pistol grip shifter with the carbon fiber inserts, baby. Come on, man. I'm in love. Sorry if I drool on your video, but. Man, look at this thing. Gorgeous. Interior is near flawless. Rockers, great shape. Door panels, excellent. Look at the bottom corners of those doors. No rust. No Bondo. Now, all these cars have a little filler in them, I know that, but this one's got very little, if any at all. Door panels are just gorgeous, they're flawless. Let's see. Back seat. Great. Headliner, great. Interior light does work. Sail panels, good. Rear deck tray, good. New carpet kit, hopefully you can see that. Again, we'll have uh, good clear still shots of the interior, exterior, and undercarriage. That's the way a car is supposed to close the door, supposed to sound, I should say. Oh man, I'm in love. All right. If you've been waiting for a CUDA, but you didn't want to spend $125,000, this is your chance. A 1970 Barracuda Resto Mod. Everything is done. Turn key, ready to drive the day 
I deliver it to you. Shaker hood. Mm. All right, let's get in here. Let me show you this gauge cluster. Again, dash is new. No cracks, of course. And the gauges. Hopefully you can see that on the video. But those Dakota Digitals, they just fit. They don't look like aftermarket. And they certainly look better. Forgive me, Mopar guys and gals. But they look way better than what came in this car. Let's fire this thing up. So the, the Speedo is GPS controlled on the Dakota Digital Gauge Cluster. And that little digital window there can be changed to track things like your odometer, uh, so on and so forth. It's showing right now 580 miles since the build was complete. Dakota Digital, baby. gorgeous. A nice late model stereo in it. Got to pump the tunes. We're in a bad spot here. Sorry about the reception. But it's got a nice little JVC head unit and then six by nines in the rear. I'll let you hear this thing. That's what 400 horsepower sounds like in a 70 Barracuda. There's that pistol grip shifter, carbon fiber touches. Super cool, kind of an updated look to a, an iconic old shifter knob. All right. So listen to this thing. It sounds like a late model car. Quiet at idle, quiet at the traffic light. You jump on this thing, you better be ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This thing's gonna make somebody real happy. Headlights, gauges, heat, AC, everything works. The AC controls are hidden in the ashtray. I'll show you that in just a minute. Gorgeous car. All right, let me show you those AC controls. Forgot that, but they're right there. Again, hidden in the ashtray. Vintage air unit, I believe. Let's see. All right, so, so that is our 70 Barracuda. For sale now at Carcraft Classics. 470-239-4977. All right, price. Let's get down to the brass tacks. The asking price in this vehicle is $74,900, $74, and it's a steal for the level of pro-built car you have here. Keep in mind, we can help with delivery, and we can help with financing. So give us a holler. Thank you so much again for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, CarCraft Classics on YouTube. And give me a holler or shoot me an email if you have any questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive. Remember, financing and delivery, not an issue. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day.